guys, welcome to East Biari Coffee House. Welcome to One Shot Espresso Reviews. We got Panama La Berlina Coffee to try as our espresso today. Here's the background. Of course, uh, my wife and I, we founded East Biari Coffee. We took an abandoned building in one of America's poorest towns and turned it into a specialty coffee house. Uh, we try coffee from around the country. Uh, we've been focused here um, this spring getting some new coffees into the coffee shop. Uh, what we do, uh, like this Panama La Ber Berlina, I'm gonna talk about P Panamanian coffee. This is our first coffee that we've ever had from Panama. Uh, and Panama is really the home of the world's most expensive coffees. I'll just tell you about that in a minute. But uh, long story short, La Berlina is a, an estate in Panama. It's from the famous coffee producing region of Broquet, Panama, uh, volcanic soils. Uh, this is the write-up I did for our customers. Anyway, we serve this coffee as the drip coffee at the coffee house for a week. Uh, these coffees are so, um, they're single origin coffees, but they're also very valuable coffees. They don't come in the, in the traditional burlap bags. Um, they sell them in 20 pound boxes. So that will roast down like 17 pounds. Long story short, like I said, they're very valuable coffees. Uh, no one's really making espresso with these because uh, they're a little higher price, but I love espresso. So I try all coffees as espresso. And I'm gonna give you my unfiltered <laughs> review of this as an espresso. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, hey, try to subscribe, or you might be encouraged to subscribe. I try wine, I try coffee, and uh, share my thoughts with you guys. Anyway, La Broquet, or yes, La Berlina from Broquet, Panama, which is the mountainous regions in Northern Panama. Uh, what happened in Panama about 30 years ago, they started um, really selecting the crops. They really started to get ahead on crop management. So they got rid of some bad coffee producing uh, trees and locations and they focused on quality they were really the first country to do so and uh, of course that's how they also uh people in the coffee industry know that's how they also really came, came to be the first to produce gesha uh, which is very expensive coffee as well uh, anyway crop management um better um a better craft into trying to uh find and produce specialty higher-end coffees has put panama at the forefront of the coffee world and the most expensive coffees uh, in the world right now are coming from Panama. So anyway, I wanted to try this. This is from, again, like I said, La Ber Berlina. It's a famous coffee producing farm in Panama. Uh, my write-up says, hey, this is a fully washed single origin. Uh, the professional tasting notes are caramel, red apple, and tangerine. Uh, you know, I definitely noticed the caramel in the, in the pour over um, and a little bit of the red apple. Excited to try it as an espresso. We'll see how it turns out. Again, I've never had it as an espresso. Here's my feedback. All right, so here we go. Panama La Berlina as an espresso. Again, coffee notes, caramel, red apple, tangerine. Uh, it was a little sweeter, of course. There's nice crema on this, on this espresso. Some of these single origins will not give you that nice crema. This one actually does, so I know it's going to be, or at least I know it's a properly kind of uh, dose shot here. Not too much, a little sweet aroma. I assume this is gonna be sweeter as an espresso, but here we go. Oh yeah, so it's real juicy, and it's real tangerine-y. <laughs> wow, at the, it, it came in like a little sweet, and then it was notes of tangerine. Not your traditional espresso at all, um, at all. Um, no nuts in this, uh, it's just, it's very, very sweet. Limey tangerine. Maybe a little bit of red apple. I will agree that it, those notes came through. Sometimes you get different notes. Sometimes you get pronounced fruit notes on some of these single origins as an espresso. Very, very unique. This is one of these got espresso you could have. You could talk about the taste of it uh, because it is very, it's pretty complex for single origins, really complex. You know, it's not the perfect espresso blend by any means. Nice and sweet though, but I just like the complexity in this one. And like I said, lots of tangerine on that, on this, uh, this shot of espresso. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an 89. So Panama La Berlina from East Biari Coffee. Unfortunately, we don't sell this one because again, it was a 20 pound micro lot. Anyway, uh, it is good stuff. It was good stuff as a pour over coffee. If you have the opportunity, if you see this, there's a couple coffee shops in America that will have this. Uh, but again, pretty rare coffee from Panama. 
very good as an espresso. I might be the first guy trying this as an espresso, who knows? But uh, long story short, I like it. Lots of tangerine, notes of tangerine, good stuff. And if you haven't tried coffee from Panama, you're missing out. They're producing some fabulous coffees. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Make sure you subscribe on another edition of One Shot Espresso Reviews.